Hello everyone, today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Instead of me talking to you about one or two products, I'm actually wanting to talk to you about some amazing colors in various products that have been launched in the whole Japanese stationery world lately. So these are just like my favorite colors from some of those products we've launched in the last few months. Yeah, basically I was just talking to my team about how awesome some of the colors have been lately. And I thought I could do a whole video with this theme because it'd be really fun to talk about and show. And there's a little bit of a trend going on. We'll see if you can pick up on it. <laughs> but anyways, so let me start with the limited edition Stalogy. So this limited edition colorway that came out this year, I almost didn't get because when I first saw the pictures for it, it actually didn't seem that compelling to me. But I'm so glad I did end up getting it because the beige is just amazing. So this is an A5 Stalogy with this limited edition beige color. I think it just, you know, actually let me get the yellow off here. But you know, with this gold, it's just stunning. I love it. And by the way, speaking of Stalogy, I am considering getting an industrial paper cutter so that I can cut a couple of commonly desired Stalogy sizes for people when you buy them on our store. Like I was thinking of doing a week size and I don't know, maybe like a B6 Slim. But yeah, you'll have to let me know if that's something you would be interested in because totally thinking of doing that. Okay. Apologize for my dog whining in the background and my green fingers. I was helping my son tie dye yesterday. Yeah, so this limited edition Stalogy in beige totally gets a color award from me. It's so, so, so pretty. And I hope how pretty it is is showing up there on the camera. So then kind of in that colorway, these are these stickers by Mindwave um, in the beige colorway are so pretty. And if you like journaling or planning, I think you'd really like these. So you can check out, I'll link the product below and then you can see all the different colors available, but I just loved the beige colorway. So we've got kind of a theme going going on here, but don't worry, it won't stay beige. Let's go into some pens next. So I did a whole video on the Uniball One Feel. The Uniball One Feel in these two new colors. So we have, um, wait, these are both the same. Yeah, so this is the new, I think they call it Mirage Beige. Is that right? Super pretty. But let's not undervalue the one, um, the Accru one, because, let's see, am I calling these the right thing? I think this one they call sand beige and this one they call something a crew. I'm just going to put it on the screen here so that I'm telling you guys the right thing. So at first I wasn't, I mean, I liked this a crew color, but I didn't like it as much as like the sand beige or the one from the previous lineup. That's very similar, like a pale mauve. But I've really come to love it because, you know, I have some planners, like for example, this bright red one that I love, but it is really hard to find a good pen color to go with this like bright red color. So I found that this Ecru, aside from loving the pen itself, <laughs> just is such a nice color match for some of my 
planners and journals that tend to be harder to find a nice color for. I'll show it here with like a purpley leather. This is more purple and this is more burgundy, but you can see like it just looks great with various different colors like that. So I am so pleased they ended up doing this color. Okay, so moving on to another pen here. The Blinn has a current limited edition lineup. They call this one dark gray. I actually see a little bit of mauve in it, in my opinion. But it is just so stunning. I love this color. And again, on the site, they're calling it dark gray. But this one will be available for a limited time. You can imagine it without my little sample tag in there. <laughs> but just a stunning color. I feel like they've been doing a very good job with muted colors lately, like sophisticated colors. The new, this is another amazing one. The new Jetstream 3 More Black Limited Edition lineup has this color, which I don't know exactly what I'd call it if I were naming it, but they named it Forest Blue. And I've never heard something be called Forest Blue before. I always hear Forest Green, but it is just gorgeous. And so if you like gray, or sorry, if you like blue shades, especially if they maybe lean a little bit to the teal and and like that sort of like matte sophisticated kind of vibe i think you would really like this forest blue it is lovely i'll show it next to the dark gray just you can kind of see this matte these matte bodies are really trending right now and they are just Amazing. Okay, so moving on to moving on to another pen, the Pilot Dr. Grip 4 Plus 1 in 0.5 tip size has expanded their lineup to include, I think it's five or six really lovely um, mature colors so they lean more dark and natural versus the kind of uh maybe more like pale looks that they you know currently had and they still have those colors but they've just expanded to include some of this kind of darker vibe here and this one is called let me see Ash Metal Olive, which I think is a great name, and it is just a gorgeous color. Now, of course, if you don't really like the 0.5 ink, you can refill with any tip size in the Dr. Grip refills. I answer this question a lot, but basically you can see the tip, so the tip size, is on the refill itself. So you, when you're replacing the your refill, it absolutely does not matter what tip size is on here. Pick whatever you like. I happen to really like 0.5, so this kind of works out really nicely for me. 0.5 in ballpoint is more like a 0.3 or a 0.38 in a gel. So yeah, I like that fine tip size, but you could totally go as thin as 0.3 or up to a 1.0. Yeah, so this Ash Metal Olive is just a fabulous color. Now, the whole new lineup is really good, so I definitely recommend going and looking at them all, especially if you like this sort of like darker natural kind of vibe. I can't remember if I've done a video about this at all yet, but the Kokuyomi scissors, portable scissors, have this plum color in the lineup with the gold hardware and they're just so pretty. I absolutely love these. Let me take it out of the package because I know 
when I leave things in the package, you get that glare and that's not, doesn't give you a good idea sometimes. But you know, again, we've got this like matte kind of body, this great gold trim. It's kind of a rose gold, really. Yeah, so they're very portable, go in your pin case like this, but just really a stunning color, I thought. So I wanted to show that one off. Um, carrying on, we have a new leather color from Milu that is really, it's not really a red, it's not really a burgundy, we're calling it deep red. But it is just gorgeous. We have it in the Idra, the brick. Pretty sure we have it in the wreck also. But it is just, it is just lovely. Let me kind of show you some other colors next to it. But it's definitely not <laughs> red. Like, let me show you that bright red thing next to it. Okay, bright red. <laughs> way, leans way more burgundy and yet it's still just kind of red so but I feel like it has the same thing going on with these other products of just this like deep almost vintagey colors that are just quite gorgeous I'll show it next to a really pretty green there so I think it actually, especially for being a red, you know, it goes with a lot and it's just really pretty. So happy with this deep red color. What else are we gonna do? Oh yeah, we're actually going to, I know I've been talking about all these great deep mature colors. We're actually gonna pull a little bit into some more pastel stuff real quick. So the new Kokuyo Adult Liner, it was hard for me to pick which color I was going to show because all four of the Frosty Barrels look so cool. But this one is the Frosty Pale Green and this one is the Frosty Pale Purple. There's also a stunning Frosty Pale Pink. <laughs> but if you're not familiar with the Dot Liner, it is basically a glue tape. And this Flick Dot Liner is so cool because you pull out and over to the side to use it. And so what that means is when it is in your pen case, it is not going to open on you. I mean, it would sort of take a weird, it would take a very weird combination of things for this to open on its own in your pen case. So that's really nice. It stays nice and protected. And yeah, I really like that, but I also just really like the colors of these Kokio Dot Liner Flick cases, these frosty colors. So pretty. All right. Another kind of pastel-y thing, the new Deco Rush. I am just <laughs> in love with this baby pink bathtub shower one and I think this is a great one to use in your planner for when you're keeping track of like self-care yeah but I just thought this is so pretty the barrel or I don't know if you call that a barrel but like the case color itself as well as the design is just so adorable and I just really really love it so I wanted to show that and this we're getting low on inventory of these new Deco Rush, but they will be restocked. And then there's also some limited edition ones coming soon. Ugh, it's so cute. I actually couldn't believe we didn't sell out of it immediately. That's how cute it is. Okay, couple more things, especially if you're into planning, journaling. The new, and this is just a couple of the colors that I really like, but the new sunstar this stuff is so weird what do we call it it's like film tape page flags you can use it in a couple different ways so you can use it you can see like right here you can use it to write on your like calendar pages or sort of like a back highlight or in your journaling or in your homework, whatever. 
but it also can be used as page flags because it is so weird. It's sticky, but not really sticky. Let me get the... So let me... It's, it's the most bizarre thing ever. So I love these two colors. And I'll show you how this works here. Okay. So a couple things about it. Why am I losing my... Okay. A couple things about it are... Losing my light for some reason. So you can see how it's kind of like barely sticky. So let me get... It's like, it's like a miracle product or something. So all of these jaggedy perforated top areas can be used to very easily tear it. It's like you have to do almost no effort at all. And of course you could cut it cleanly if you wanted, but tears very easily. And then you could use it to get a pen can use it to write on. In your planner, whatever. But you can also use it as a page flag and it's so crazy because it doesn't stick to stuff, which I don't know, it's wild to me. Like, how can it stay stuck on here, but not be too sticky to use as a page flag? I don't know. But it's like, it's like a miracle product. And so you can just, you know, make yourself little flags whenever you want. But these two colors are really quite pretty. I'm losing my, this is so strange. Okay, it got dark. Yeah, so these colors, if I can figure out what they are, I don't remember. Oh yeah, this one's smoky blue. And this one I think is called smoky pink. Yeah, smoky pink. So these, I thought, were so pretty. But you can see the swatches of all of them on the site if you're interested in that. Really awesome multi-purpose stuff. All right, now... I had a, I posted about this on Instagram, but these Mind Wave stickers, journaling stickers, are so good. And they all have really, really pretty colorways. So I just wanted to show you one of those. But if you want, you can go check out the reel where I show all of them over on Instagram. It's and you get the idea of what they're like, but they're very, very, very thin washi style stickers. So they're not gonna add any bulk in your planner or journal, which is really cool, I like that. Okay, finally, one more thing that is a really cool color thing. The new Pentel Ein limited edition series. So they made these to go with the new limited edition 350 pencils but they did a gray version which is so cool because the the pentel eye and i've seen them do the, you know they do white all the time and i've seen them do black but i haven't seen them do like pale gray like this and i just think it is so so pretty so if you're somebody who needs to use an eraser, you might want to check this out because I thought it was really unique and just such a lovely color. All right, well, I might do this kind of video more often just because I think it's really fun to sort of show some of my favorites from the different new lineups. And please, you feel free to let me know what colors of things you have been liking below if you feel like I missed out on anything in this video. I'm sure I did. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.